Hi guys, I'm here with your Bible reading for today. I'm going to take off from where we left off yesterday with Colossians. 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 I'm sorry, I keep pronouncing that wrong. How you say it guess is pronounced correctly, sir? Colossians. Colossians chapter two, verse eight through verse twenty three today. <clears throat> See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and in Christ you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. In him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not performed by human hands. Your whole self, ruled by the flesh, was put off when you were circumcised by Christ, having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith and working of God, who raised him from the dead. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross, and having disarmed the powers and authorities we made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon, celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you. Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. They are puffed up with idle notions by their spirit, unspiritual mind. They have lost connection with the head from whom the whole body supported and held together by its ligaments and sinews grows as God causes it to grow. Since you died with Christ to the elemental spiritual forces of this world, why, as though you still belong to this world, do you submit to its rules? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. These rules which have to do with things that are all destined to perish with use are based on merely human commands and teaching. Such regulations indeed have an appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed worship, their false humility, and their harsh treatment of the body, but they lack any value in restraining sensual indulgence. And that was Colossians. Chapter 2, verse 8 through verse 23. And for our psalm today, we're going to read Psalm 78. A Maskell of Asaph. My people... Hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a parable. 
I will utter hidden words, things, things from old, things we have heard and known, things our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. He decreed statues for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children, so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget their deeds, but would keep his commands. They would not be like their ancestors, a stubborn and rebellious generation whose hearts were not loyal to God, whose spirits were not faithful to him. The men of Ephraim, though armed with bows, turned back on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant and refused to live by his law. They forgot what he had done, the wonders he had shown them. He did miracles in the sight of their ancestors, in the land of Egypt, in the region of Zon. He divided the sea and led them through. He made the waters stand up like a wall. He guided them with the cloud by day and with the light from the fire all night. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them water as abundant as the seas. He brought streams out of a rocky crag and made water flow down like rivers. But they continued to sin against him, rebelling in the wilderness against the Most High. They willfully put God to the test by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God. They said, Can God really spread a table in the wilderness? True, he struck the rock and water gushed out. Streams flowed abundantly, but can he also give us bread? Can he supply meat for his people? When the Lord heard them, he was furious. His fire broke out against Jacob, and his wrath rose against Israel, for they did not believe in God or trust in his deliverance. Yet he gave a command to the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna for the people to eat. He gave them the grain of heaven. Human beings ate the bread of angels. He sent them all the food they could eat. He let loose the east wind from the heavens, and by his power made the south wind blow. He rained meat down on them like dust, birds like sand on the seashore. He made them come down inside their camp all around their tents. They ate till they were gorged. He had given them what they craved. But before they turned from what they craved, even while the food was still in their mouths, God's anger rose against them. He put to death the sturdiest among them, cutting down the young men of Israel. And that was Psalm 78, a mascal of Asaph. And lastly, for our Bible reading today, is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 26. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. And that was Proverbs chapter 24, verse 26. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great day. It just rained here. We just got some rain. <clears throat> I think I'm going to make a couple videos. Um, I found some stories I thought I would share with you guys that I found in a magazine. So I'm going to get this Bible video up for you guys, and then I think I'll make you a couple story videos today. So I hope you guys um, have a great rest of your evening. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. 
And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.